I want to welcome everyone to the new generation. Here we're going to focus on next-gen gaming, specifically starting with PlayStation 4. There's a lot of great features that the game has. I have another YouTube channel that focuses on Madden. I uh, have great success with that, but I like playing other games as well, and I love showing the ins and outs of things that we need uh, you know, to focus on the great features of games or consoles and things like that. So first, we're going to take at uploading a video clip. If you remember, PlayStation specifically said that it's automatically going to record the last 15 minutes of your gameplay footage, which is a great feature and is true. The thing is, it's a lot better than that. Let me just show you. So here, actually, uh, to get in, I was initially playing Madden 25. I'm just going to show you this here real quick, actually. I was in Madden 25, and then I tapped the share button on the controller, and it brought me to this screen. Then I go in to upload a video clip. Now, I've played a few games of Madden here so far. At this particular point, right here, is when I started recording a game. I'm going to go in. This is where we can upload, but I'm going to go to preview, and I'm going to show you guys exactly how this works. So I got to this point on the screen and I decided, you know what, I'm playing a ranked game of Madden. Let me start recording manually. Because otherwise it's going to record the last 15 minutes, but it's not going to have a specific start point. It's just going to be kind of all over the place and then you might have to edit a couple videos to kind of piece everything together at once. So, I, like I said, um, here I'm just gonna so I'm recording the gameplay footage this is what we're watching something that I did so to do this I was at this point and I double tap the share button so look in the top right corner when I double tap share watch see that little recording film strip thing that means that now that I've double tapped it it's gonna start recording specifically from that spot so I'm gonna press the share button once again I'm gonna go here Madden 25, and like I said, exactly 15 minutes. As long as I don't interrupt the recording manually or anything like that, it's going to record 15 minutes of gameplay. Then, after that, it recorded another 10 minutes and 8 seconds. Then, because I was trying to do something, uh, it only recorded 7 seconds. I think I was using voice control, where you can say PlayStation screenshot, or PlayStation take screenshot or I was trying to say like PlayStation Record or whatever. Uh, then, once that was over, it recorded just a random 6 minutes and 59 seconds. Not 15 minutes like when we started, but 6 minutes and 59 seconds. And then directly after, I'd say there's basically the only thing you're going to have to deal with is the fact that there is a gap in the gameplay. So, uh, this is what we're going to do. I'm going to just show you. We're going to go to Edit because this is going to allow us to get to the end of the video as quick as we possibly can. So I'm going to go to edit. It's just going to tell me how I have to do things. I'm going to go to 60 second intervals so that I can just quickly get to the end here. Then I'm going to go, oops, I'm going to go here to this point and then I'm going to go preview and see how it's going to show in the top, at the very top, the gameplay is now going. So we are in the second quarter with 16 seconds to go. If I go here, now at the end of the video, we are at 3 minutes and 17 seconds of the third quarter. So let's back out. And like I said, that was a random. Oops, where are we here? That was a random 6 minutes and 59 seconds. For whatever reason, that's all it recorded. Maybe I hit the PlayStation button and did something else. So it stopped. Like if you happen to go to the dashboard or whatever it's called for PlayStation, you go to like the home screen, I think what's going to happen is the recording is now stopped. So then when you go back, it's going to start again. So like I said, there was 3 minutes and 17 seconds left in the third quarter. I did not manually record for 11 minutes. But if we look at the beginning of the video here, we're going to see there is 2 minutes and 42 seconds left in the third quarter. It's the same game, same score, and it just continues to record. There's only a little bit of a gap in between each video, and it did that for the entire game. Right from the beginning, when I initially recorded 15 minutes, it recorded everything. So, 
Um, we're going to go into, let's, I mean, it's recorded a lot of stuff. Like I said, they said that they were going to record 15 minutes of gameplay footage, but really it's recording and recording and recording. I don't know exactly how many video clips. One, two, three, four. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. So there's 23. I'm imagining it's the last 23 because I'm pretty sure that I tried to record uh, before that. So like the last 23 clips, and you can basically just go in and upload or edit, take out anything that you want of all your gameplay footage for even the last few games that you played. So let's just say that I want to upload the beginning of this game, which is what I did, okay, uh, Facebook audience, I have set it so that it's only me, so basically what this does is I don't really want people on my Facebook to know that I'm doing like YouTube videos or anything like that, um, so I made it so that, and you'll go through this process, I can't remember exactly how I got there, but it's going to ask you what audience you want, make it so that it's only you. Then what you do is you go to that Facebook page in your home page. So you click on your name on Facebook. It's going to show it in your news feed. And then what I did is I just downloaded that video from there. I had the audio and everything like that that I recorded. Because if you put a headset on, not only can you play games, but you can sit there and you can talk and basically commentate your videos and then upload it by hitting the share button. If we go down here, the share button, and then it's going to go straight to Facebook. I downloaded it from Facebook and uploaded it to YouTube. So, you know, here I'm using the Elgato Game Capture HD, which we might get into how to set up here, uh, like tomorrow or something like that. I'm using that to record. But if you don't have that or if you don't have the money and you just have the PlayStation 4, you can easily do your own videos without any problem. And like I said, you know, initially when it said that you had to upload to Facebook. I was like, man, there's no way I'm doing that. I don't want all my friends seeing my videos and stuff that I do every single time. But the fact that you can make it so that only yourself can see it and then you go and download it makes it a great, great feature. Um, absolutely love what the PS4 has shown me so far. We're going to get into a lot of other things here, guys, uh, on this channel. The next generation was the name of the channel that I wanted it to be. But unfortunately, that was taken. So we are the new generation. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any questions, just ask. I'll show you guys anything that you want. Um, and don't forget to subscribe and like the video because we're going to be showing a lot more in the future.